So into our previous video, we have already discussed about the security which we can provide over your data. Now here we are going to see how we can provide an ADS level of security. If you remember into our previous videos already we have discussed how we can provide the security using your AD. So if you remember the ID protection we have defined as well as we have also seen your MFA authentication. Now here we are going to see how we can use this particular authentications into different applications. So let us explore this. So first I'm going to start with your Azure Active Directory security. As we know, we can create and manage a single identity for each users over here. We can create a unique user ID and unique password for the users we have created. Also, this particular users can access the data as well as we can provide the privileges to them to can get the data from your hybrid enterprise environment, keeping users and group devices into synchronization. So if they are in sync, you can be able to access the public or your private databases if you are privileged to it. Next, we have provide a single sign-on access to your applications, including thousands of pre-integrated SAS applications. Now, if suppose you are a user and you want to use a certain applications, they can also provide you a single sign-on to you. So you can easily sign on individually. And once you have signed on, you will be able to get access to all the SAS applications you have created. So SAS, as we know, it is the software as a service. You'll be able to get access to all the applications you are authenticated to. Next, you're able to enable your application access security by enforcing your MFA both on on-premises and your cloud application. You can provide the security on your on-premises, that is your private cloud, or on your cloud applications, that is your on public cloud. You can define the application level security as well by using your ADS. Also, it provides you the provision to secure your remote access to your on-premises web applications you have created. So generally, we haven't discussed about the web application, but when you're defining the application or you're creating the application, you can publish these applications over the web. And if you have published the application, you can again provide the security to this web applications using your ADS. And also, it provides you on proxies. So you can also create your application proxies using your Azure AD. So this is what exactly the security we provide by using your Azure AD for the applications. Now, what about the MFA? We have already discussed about the MFA into our previous video. We have also seen how we can enable and configure this MFA. Here, as we said, MFA is a method of your authentication where we can define the different level of authentications while we are accessing any resource or any of your applications. So here it provides you a verification methods and adds a critical second layer of security to the user sign in and their transactions. We know we have multiple verification method. So not only one, not only the password, but also we can see whether that particular device is authenticated or trusted or not, whether it has a certificate to application access or not. Everything can be detected by using your MFA. Same way we can also use your MFA, which helps us to safeguard your access to the data and the applications we have created. Also, we can deliver a strong authentication via a range of your verification options. So as discussed, we have seen like we can use our phones, where generally we know it cannot be copied or duplicated. Same way, a unique kind of authentications can be used into your MFA for verifying your identity. It can be through your phone call, it can be through your text message, it can be through your mobile app notifications, it can be through your verification code, and this can be your third party O tokens. So you know, whenever you are accessing any of your service nowadays, you generally get an token or you generally get your text message and your codes, you just need to enter the code to access those particular services. So this advanced level of authentication, verification process can be again used by your MFA. So this is what exactly we have seen, how we can use your Azure AD by using your MFA as well as your ID protection to protect your data and application services over your Azure. So this is what we have seen into it. Into next video, we are going to discuss about your compute services.